Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're going to continue our Woman's Lot playthrough. So we're looking for Pavel's Treasure. And since I looked at the achievements beforehand, I know that there's an achievement for finding Pavel's Trevor without be uh, treasure without being detected or whatever. So that's what we're going to be trying to do and I assume that means there's going to be enemies. So let's just start the search. There's the quarry and there's the marshland. Now, where's the stream? Here's a stream. I've got to follow its course upstream, deeper into the woods. Alright, so I guess we have to ditch the horse. Let's see if we can't find his hat that he was talking about, because I'm willing to bet that it's not just a regular nobleman's hat. Like, it'll be unique in some way. This is kind of a steep climb. <sighs> this is quite a hike. No sign of a path yet. It must be further on. Here's that footpath. This is definitely the right way. Ah, so it was just a chaperone. Well, we found the hat, so let's continue up the footpath. Hoping this will be like a new site added, kind of like the, uh, with the Amherst Adventures of the Bolts Soundscape on that there was that extra camp added, so hopefully this will be that. Uh... But yeah, we'll see when we get there. Well, that doesn't seem to be it. Is that guy talking to himself? I really don't want to get caught by him. Just gonna keep going up the path. Hopefully, he won't see me. Okay, I think I got away. I don't think that was the camp I was supposed to be at. I think that was just a poaching camp. I really don't want to get caught because I want that achievement. What, you think you can stand in my path, Boulder? I won't give in that easy. Oh boy. What's happened here? Is that a deer? Hmm. Guess we'll have to be wary. Ooh, another dead body. Dead and looted. Aha! I think I've spotted our rune settlement. Now I'm sure of it. So now we just have to find his treasure without getting detected. Ooh, another dead body. Ooh, custodian's orders. Let's see what those orders are. Old Knight, Sir Sebastian. I suppose I should tell him about it. I, the bold knight, Sir Sebastian von Berg, do hereby charge the man-at-arms Prokosh and his company to patrol Sasa Woods and to keep watch and maintain law and order and protect honest folk against humans and other brigands and seek out and challenge any such foes and deal with them as befits. In these aforementioned matters, they may present themselves they and act in my name, assigned in Sasa and locate blah blah blah. Alright, well we're gonna go around the outside. Ooh, mint. We're going to go down here, because I'm betting this is going to lead to the treasure. Oh, that was a short climb down. Alright. Let's find this treasure and hopefully not get detected in the meantime. Oh, did I find it? Oh. Hmm... That's all worth a lot of stuff. Hey, look, a gold ring. 
Only other place I've ever found one of those is right at the beginning of the game in Scallets. We'll take all that. Oh, that was on this dead body. I ate. So let's keep sneaking through. Maybe some not plate metal would have been a good uh, haul for my armor on this one, huh? Oh, so this comes up in the basement of this house. Okay. It's not really a basement, but... Oh, don't want to get spotted because I'm betting this is it. No, it's not. Just a bunch of feathers. Pavel Stash must be somewhere else. I don't want to be detected. Time to go back down in this thing. Hopefully I can find another underground passage to a different house. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. I think I've been detected. Oops, I didn't mean to pick him up. I wanted to kill him. Well, you don't get every trophy on your first go-round, so let's keep looking. Alright, so let's keep going around the outskirts. I don't know if those are going to be the only two humans that were in the whole camp, so I don't want to really go in loud and screaming yet. Say, if I can find the chest, then you guys can head straight for it without having to worry about getting caught. Hey, you are oh, Miley spotted me. Time to go loud and proud. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> got him. Oh, nifty. I thought there were two people. Hmm. Well, anyway. Let's find out where this treasure is. It's probably in here. And look at that. Yep, there it is. Well, now, that's quite a pile. And the dagger is here. A real treasure trove. Alright, well, we'll pick this up back in Sasa, so we'll see you there. Alright, so we're back at the tavern here, so we're gonna... Is this our guy down here? No, that's just some sort of a gambling guy. Uh, we're gonna talk to our guy that gave us this mission, so... Here he is. Alright, so let's see what he has to say. So I went looking for that stash of yours. And how did you get on? There really was money there, and quite a lot of it. And I found that dagger. When you were talking about donating the money for the common good, what did you have in mind? As I said, you've no need to go any further than the Sassau Rathaus or St. Martin's Church. I believe Bailiff Hasek or Father Fabian will handle the donation better than that disorderly monastery. Thank well, all right. Uh, I'm thinking, since the theme of this DLC is uh, religious... Yeah. I will go donate it to the church. I'm going to go give it to Father Fabian, I believe it was. So, yeah. Well, you know, go that. I, you know, I don't know. I like the bailiff here in town. But, I don't know. I, I think, like I said, we should stick with the theme of keeping it religious. Especially because this sort of stuff probably isn't going to go over super well. So if we can bring up the fact that her, uh, her actions have been getting money to the church, I think that'll help. So let's find out where this guy is. All right, B is the Sassau Parish Priest. So, we just gotta go find him. You know what, I'm betting he's in this building. Is that the armor shop? Why would he be in the armor shop? 
Yeah, look at that. There he is. I'd like to donate quite a large sum to the Sassau Church. Pro Bonum Commune, eh? Well, I'll be very happy to accept it. And I can even tell you what it would be used for. So you know how the common welfare will benefit. What could I contribute the money to? Well, requiem masses for the dead can shorten the time the departed spend in purgatory. The greater the donation, the more masses I can say, and the more the saints will intercede. Now our house of God is also in need of improvement. Having it decorated would certainly bring credit to the benefactor. It would also be possible to give all the money for poverty relief. So those who are not blessed with property have something to live on. Hmm. Yeah, let's... I'd like to contribute to one of the things you suggested. I see. Which would it be? Let's do that poverty relief. I want to contribute to poverty relief. It will be in the name of Pavel of Colleen. I'm just his messenger. How much are you giving? Uh, the whole amount, duh. All of this. It's a generous gift. I'm glad not everyone is turning from the true faith just because some woman is making a spectacle on the square. God bless you, lad. God be with you. Hmm. That may have gone against what I was hoping for. It doesn't seem to have gotten uh, her any credit, even though it was kind of all because of her. So, go back to Pavel. All right. Uh, there it is. Right on back to Pavel yeah. and tell him uh, what his treasure bought. I did what you asked. I donated the money for the common good. Thank you. Who did you give the money to? I gave everything to the parish priest of St. Martin's. It'll help the church a lot. You know, I'd have done the same thing. Perhaps it'll ease my way through the gates of heaven. Thank you, Henry. And give my thanks to your hanker, too. It was an honor to meet an honorable, selfless like man you like yourself. God be with you. Farewell, Pavel. Alright, so, um, I think we're going to end it here. So, we'll pick it up next time talking to Johanka, so we'll see you then. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you like the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.